Hey guys, this is Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can speed up your Android phone in seven different ways. The first way is by reducing the animation and transition effects on your device. Now, trust me guys, you don't really need it and it's not worth the pain of, you know, having a slow phone. So just go into settings, go into uh, developer options. Now, if you're using a Galaxy phone, there are chances that the developer options are not unlocked. So go into about, go into build and tap it seven times. Your developer options would appear right above about device. Now scroll down to where you see Windows, uh, window animation scale and duration scale, right there. Now, all of these, window, transition and animator, put them down to 0.5x. Now when the phone ships to you, it comes with animation scale of 1x. I've already reduced it because I enjoy it that way. Now let me show you what happens if you make it 5x. Look at that, how nice and easy, but well, it's really slow and frustrating. So go back in, and let me turn them down all the way to 0.5x and you'll see the difference. Now when I hit back, cut, cut, that, there you go. So it's really quick if your transitions are off. Now, the other way to do is removing widgets. Now widgets display live information. They keep fetching internet data and feeding to you on the home screen. Not only does it consume battery, it also eats up resources. Remove them if you don't use them. I mean, do you really use them? So if you don't, just get rid of them. So, you know, for example, uh, I don't need a couple of them. So let's say uh, YouTube, I don't need it. In fact, I don't need this entire screen. So let's just remove it. Uh, let me just throw it, throw the whole thing into the bin. And then uh, maybe, yeah, I don't need Android. Like I, I don't use it all the time. And maybe it's stock information and Yahoo News, not required. That's it, there you go. You've got a faster smartphone. Now Android is truly a multitasking OS. So your apps and processors kind of run parallelly all the time. So go into developer options and you can now limit the number of processes that run in the background. It's really up to you. Uh, it's not something I recommend you do it unless you really know what you're doing. But if you, uh, you know, kind of say, well, I just want one process at most running in the background or two at most, that's how it's going to be. Okay. But again, I'm not saying you should do this. Now there's obviously task manager, tap and hold your home key go into the task manager and then there you go, your RAM. It says one GB used out of 1.35 available RAM. You can obviously clear it. I don't really think it, there's a noticeable difference in, in uh, doing this, but uh, there's no harm in trying it out. Now guys, this may sound really lame, but trust me, uh, once a week you should do this. It kind of flushes your cache, flushes your memory, and uh, it's just clearer, it's cleaner, and trust me, it's, it works faster. Now this one's really helpful. Add custom launchers, install maybe Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher or AWD Launcher. All of these launchers kind of, you know, they're optimized to perform really well on your Android smartphone, especially when it comes to Samsung, which is running TouchWiz. It's really heavy, it's really resource intensive, eats up your processor and RAM. Install one of these launchers. And trust me, you would see a huge difference. They, they're really fast, they're really smooth, the transitions and the animations, there you go. Have a look at that. It's really nice, right? So, you know, you can really see a noticeable difference in the performance of your smartphone uh, when you have one of these. And then if you want to quickly access apps, glove box, or even pie controls for that matter, they're really nice. You know, you just, have, you just have to swipe your finger from either the left edge or the right edge and you have apps which are right there for you, uh, the, you know, the ones that you really use a lot. So both Glovebox and Pi Controls are available on the Play Store for free. Uh, there are a bunch of features or premium features that are only available if you buy it. Uh, but again, you know, you don't really have to. Uh, most of the things that you need are available in the free version and they really work amazingly well. Uh, all of your apps handy right there. So as you can see, improving the speed of your Android smartphone not only means being really uh, careful about your resources in the sense, you know, the, the processor being used and the RAM, but also having a few apps like custom launchers, uh, glove box, pie controls, even swipe pad for that matter. You know, these really make using your smartphone faster. So thank you for watching guys. Do leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and do not forget to subscribe.